Dear family of God, today we continue our Advent devotional series, um, and we come to this idea of Jacob's ladder. Uh, it's become a common phrase. It's been uh, something that we hear of from time to time. But the story of Jacob's ladder is found in Genesis chapter 28, beginning at verse 10. So would you please hear now God's word? Jacob left Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he came to a certain place and stayed there that night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, there was a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land of which you lie, I will give to you and to your offspring. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. You know, in this passage, God reveals himself to Jacob and reaffirms the covenant he made with Abraham, promising Jacob, who will later be named Israel, that his offspring offspring will be many and that the promised land will one day belong to his descendants. In its vision, Jacob sees something similar to this ladder, this stairway, which signifies a connection between God and man. In this instance, it was God who provided the means necessary to link himself to man, as opposed to the men of Babel in Genesis 11, who tried to reach heaven by their own actions, aside from the help of God. These two passages of Scripture reflect differing thoughts over the issue of salvation. One group tries to reach heaven based on their own actions, aside from God's grace and help. Yet the other group, that's who we uh, understand, they have access to heaven based purely on the provisions of God and only on those provisions of God. As Christians, we see this dream of Jacob as really pointing to the mediator, Jesus Christ, who came to earth and became the ladder or stairway for us to reconnect the relationship with God that was severed because of sin. Romans 5, the first two verses. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ through whom we have gained access by faith into the grace in which we now stand. You know, our salvation is first and foremost about what God has done, and only in a secondary sense about our response to what God has done as he has opened our, our hearts to new life. And I can't think of many passages in the Bible which make this more clear than this story, this scripture of Jacob's ladder. You see, it's only when we realize that our whole that our hope rests only on God's free grace, that our hope will be firm and our hearts assured. And that's a lesson, dear family of God, that Jacob, the one who was the deceiver, the surplanter, uh, needed to learn, just like you and me. According to the scriptures, Jesus is our ladder who came to this earth from the line of Jacob, that through the provision of God, he has redeemed us so that we may live for him this day and enjoy him for all of eternity. To God be the glory. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the scriptures that clearly show us again and again how you have touched us, how you have reached down to heaven uh, for us in the birth and life of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, let us rest. May we rest in the salvation that you provide for us in Jesus Christ, our Lord. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Dear family of God, may the Lord bless you and keep you this day and forevermore. Amen.